Welcome to the weekend, folks. This is Higher It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. 97 won the ticket. Yep, midsummer, having a great time. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a great show planned for you. In fact, this hour of Higher Done program is brought to you in part by All Brick Design. Get 20% off through HigherItDone.com. It's right, still not too late to get your brick pavers done before the end of the year. I mean, yeah, not the end of the month, end of the year. Uh, we got a great coupon there. Um, so want you to know that, hey, get some discounts while you get your home improvement. We have some really, really, really good stuff going on. Just visit HigherItDone.com. You can check it all out. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to check the show out today on Facebook Live, we're here live. But, of course, I want to introduce myself to you for all the new listeners. We, uh, I don't know if everyone knows, we launched, we launched a national radio show, so we got a lot of people tuning in, a lot of people trying to see what's up with this. So, and if you're uh, just tuning in from uh, last night, having it on the radio, thank you. It's all good. So, my name's Adam Health. I'm a home improvement expert. That's right, expert. I've been in the business my whole life. I was born and raised in the home improvement business. I'm a fourth generation contractor. I've built or remodeled over 10,000 homes, right? And uh, I'm all about the opposite of do it yourself. But here's the most important point for you, the homeowner, to understand I'm not anti do it yourself, okay? I am pro do it for me. And I came up with the brand Hire It Done, okay? Why did I come up with it? Because from the neck down, I'm worth minimum wage. And so if you ever see me on a job site working with a tool belt, you better dial 911, okay? Because how I make my living is from the chin up. And that's to share the knowledge with you folks because there's two kinds of people. There's smart people and there's wise people. And, of course, I'm a wise guy sometimes. But here's the other thing. Smart people learn from their mistakes. Wise people learn from other people's mistakes. So I've made a ton of mistakes in uh, the home improvement business. I've watched contractors make a huge amount of mistakes, but I've learned from them. So I want you to learn from those mistakes and you become a wise homeowner. And that's why we created HireItDone.com because it's a website and a source for you, the homeowner, to get hassle-free home improvement. In fact, we created a really new mission statement, which I think is pretty cool, right? And I'm going to read it to you uh, since you'll like it. Hire a done mission statement. Very important, folks, because this really says what it is. When people say, what's hire it done? Well, it's not do it yourself, right? <laughs> Here it is. Hire it done educates homeowners. We raise contractor professionalism, and we facilitate a hassle-free home improvement process. So you got to understand something, folks. This is the show. It's going to teach you, the homeowner, how to fix, repair, or remodel everything within the four corners of your lot. You see, your home doesn't have an odometer. It doesn't tell you when to change the oil. It doesn't tell you when to change your, uh, you know, air filter, clean your gutters like your car does, or when your car tells you that, you know, check the engine light or your air tire, tire and your air is low. There's no odometer in your house, folks. Guess what? Hire it done is your odometer. And that's what we try and do. Now, we have a special situation going on right now because home improvement business right now is booming. Now, the homeowners are looking for good contractors, and it's not easy. It's not easy at all. So you got to be smart. If you're looking to get your brick pavers done, if you're looking to get landscaping done, how about building a deck? Trex? Azek? Timber Tech? What's the best deck? You need a new furnace? You want a new roof? Think about it, folks. You want a kitchen, a bath, granite tops, quartz? How about painting? In fact, today I got a great uh, show plan for painting, right? Painting colors that are going to make you sleep better. How cool is that, right? The other thing is we want to save you money here at Hired Done. I'm always trying to give you tips. I love saving people money. It's in my religion. It's in my heritage and my culture, right? So we just want you to understand that Hire It Done is a resource for you. We want you to go to the website. We want you to pick our contractors. You don't have to. You can just use my advice. There's a lot of great contractors out there, and 
with Hire It Done, we have a 10-point pre-screening for ours. They have to pass it. Not all of them do. We do criminal. We do uh, background checks. And so even if they do good work, if they don't pass that, then there's a problem. And you know how that is. So it's important that we have it. And and just so you know, a lot of people uh, are looking for good contractors. In fact, we're averaging about 1,000 homeowners a week requesting workers or requesting contractors on HireItDone.com. So there's a big demand right now for good contractors. So what do you do? If you want your kitchen, call the guy now. Get him out here. Don't be discouraged that he says, I can't start your job till the fall. I can't start your job till after the holidays, maybe in the spring. You know what? Tell him it's okay. Plan the job. Plan it out. Be smart. Okay? It's worth the wait. Because if you find some crackpot contractor who says, oh, uh, I don't know. I could fit you in in the next couple weeks. That's a bunch of BS, folks. So you just got to understand what you got to do. Anyways, let me give you a few uh, tips to save some energy uh, right now. That way you can wake up and you can say, oh, it's going to be hot out today. Let's save some energy, right? Um, but here's the thing. Energy use uh, has a lot to do with behavior as well. So one thing you can do is adjust your day-to-day behaviors. When you leave a room, shut the lights. Don't you remember as a kid, your dad, your mom, turn off the lights, rah, 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 right? Always barking at you. Well, today they have, you know, those sensors. If there's no movement in the room, the lights go out. You can actually buy those. But even if you're cognizant, just be aware, right? That's the best part. So the best thing for you to do is turn the lights out when you're done. That's really simple, right? It's a behavioral adjustment. Anyways, uh, you can get one of those home energy monitors. That'll tell you where all the uh, uh, energy uses are going off the charts in your house. And we'll, we can talk about that later. How about light bulbs? We always talk about light bulbs. Incandescent light bulbs. 60 watt light bulb is the average light bulb. 60 watts, right? The average house has 20 of those. So 60 times 20 is 1,200 watts. Now, years ago, it was like, oh, upgrade to CFL, compact fluorescent. Oh, what do you mean? The little pigtail bulbs. And everyone's like, oh, no, they have mercury. We're going to poison the world. It's never, oh. But they, they used a lot of less energy. But today, fast forward, you got LED, light-emitting diodes, right? So a light-emitting diode uses a ton less electricity. So you want to get equivalency. Like what's equivalency mean? Well, you want to, if you, if you like a 60-watt bulb, the replacement bulb should give you the same amount of output, same amount of lights, but use less energy. So to get the same output of a 60-watt bulb, the equivalent LED is 3 to 5 watts, right? That's crazy less. So if you have 20 60-watt bulbs, that's 1,200 watts for an incandescent. Now you take the same 20 bulbs that are LED, and let's go, let's just say it's 5 watts a bulb, Okay. 20 times 5 is 100. 1,200 watts or 100 watts. Think about that. That's a huge, that's like a 90% reduction. And that's the reality, folks. So you have all 60, if you have all 20 60-watt bulbs on, it's 1,200 watts of electricity you're paying for. Replace every one of those bulbs and put, get the same light output, and it's only a 5-watt bulb in each one, that's 100 watts. So you're paying for 100 watts instead of 1,200 watts. Dude, do the math. I just saved you a ton of money. Thank you very much. Anyways, that's another thing. How about using smart power strips? You ever think of what those are? Phantom loads? Right. Uh, Or the electricity used by your electronics, even when they're turned off. That's the other part. You'd be surprised if you have, listen, we all have an iPad or an Android. You got iOS. You got a laptop. You got your uh, cable box, your Apple TV, your Google Home. Everyone has a thousand things plugged in. Your, your, you know, your new TV, flat screen everywhere. They're so cheap now. You get them in every room. You plugged in your toaster. You're plugging in everything. Well, when they're plugged in, even when they're off, they're suck. They're sucking electricity. So think about it. You can figure out a way to get a smart power strip, and it'll turn everything off. That alone will save you money. In fact, artificial intelligence is coming in quick, right? What does that mean, AI? That means they're going to know. If you're not using it, it's going to turn it off for you. The amount of energy saved will solve the energy crisis. Um, 
it's bulb, not bulb. Yeah, I said bulb, okay? So you can have a donut while you're at that. Um, well, here. Here's a guy just texted me. Oh, if someone got a felony 20 years ago but does excellent work and had excellent report with their customers, they aren't good enough for your service now? No, dummy. That's not it. We do a background check. If you're 40 years old and you do great carpentry and you do great drywall and you're a great craftsman, but at 18 you did something stupid, of course you pay the time. But I'm not going to, listen, if you're a pedophile and a sex offender, guess what? Yeah, you're not coming in. And, and the other thing is, hire it done is a democracy. You understand that? But I'm the maniacal dictator. I'm the one at the end of the day says yes or no, because it's my name on it. You understand? I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to Hire It Done on 97 Won The Ticket. Welcome back, folks. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. We are on fire today. That's right, folks. The place is burning down. But that's okay. I got a guy to fix that, too. So we're all set. This hour brought to you by Mosquito One. It's still not too late to get your backyard uh, treated by our friends at Mosquito One. Get $50 off a, pro uh, a package. Go to HireItDone.com for details. Um, they're the best mosquito one, by the way. If you really want to like eradicate mosquitoes, trust me, you want to have a party, relax in the backyard, hot dogs, iced teas, diet cokes, maybe some beers. Let me tell you, you don't want a mosquito buzzing in your ear, right? You call these guys, it's unbelievable. I'm like, whoa, this is great, and it's pet friendly. But you know how that goes. So, uh, welcome back. And, uh, you know, every week on Hire Done here in the uh, local show, we like to feature and profile one of our pre-screened contractors. And, um, yeah, you know what? I'm very uh, confident. You can call it cocky, but I'm confident. Our contractors are better. It's the truth. Doesn't mean that the guy who's not in Hire Done is better. I'm just confident enough to tell you that when I bring a contractor in the studio and, they, and I send them to your house, I put my name on it, right? I'm telling you they're good. And people like to hear a third-party endorsement. They like when someone else refers them. So, again, I don't know if anyone else out there has the cojones to do that, but I do. That's my business model, and I'm proud of it. So joining me in studio right now is Hired Done Prescreen Contractors, uh, Bill Burkhart, President, and his son, Bill Burkhart, Jr., uh, Vice President of Kangaroo. Because you know what, folks? They hop to it. I love that. Good morning, fellas. Morning, Adam. How's it going? Everything good? Everything's awesome. How about you, Bill Sr.? Uh, you got to turn his mic on, dude. Um, anyways, so real quickly, uh, tell everyone in the Hired Done audience exactly what Kangaroo does. Kangaroo is a roofing contractor. We do commercial and residential roofing. We have expanded into siding and windows on the residential side. Uh, but pretty much we get the water off of your roof, away from your home, away from your building, keep you warm, safe, and dry. That's a good way to put it, right? Pretty easy. Because that's what homeowners want. Listen, homeowners have a fear when, they, when a contractor comes out. The fear is that they're going to get ripped off. That's where we come in. We partner with you and remove the fear. Now, the other fear is when they want a roof. It's like, geez, oh, Pete, I want a roof that doesn't leak. That's the first thing. I mean, it's simplified, but it's the truth. How do you get a roof that doesn't leak? One of the best parts about Kanga, and you guys, are, I, I, I like to benchmark my uh, contractors, meaning something that each contractor does is like uh, industry leader in, in a benchmark. And yours to me, besides the, you know, obviously we're going to make the assumption that the work is great, which it is. But the benchmark for you guys is your sales process and your guarantee. Can we go through that really quick? Absolutely. So, Junior, let's see here. You tell me like when a homeowner calls Kanga and you come out to the house. You guys just have this whole system of how it goes. Absolutely. We have a system, and really what it does is it starts and ends with what you just said, giving them the peace of mind, giving them the understanding that they're going to be taken care of and respected at every step through the process. And what we do is we have a checklist we go through every single time, just like one of the things we talk about with the homeowner, our checklist and our training system for our installers. Because the question a homeowner always has is, okay, it all sounds great, but how do I know – that this is going to be done right on mine. How do I know I'm not that one? And what we go through with them and talk them through is our Rhino Roofing Training System. It's an 11-point process that we hammer and drill with our guys. We do it on a weekly basis. We do it all through the winter when we're a little slower. 
And when you can take a homeowner through that, break it down, show them the ventilation system to ensure that their warranty is not going to get voided out because no one else talked about that, huge oh, yeah. peace of mind for them. Unbelievable. So, uh, Bill Senior, how long have you guys been in the business? 12 years. Okay. And you've been doing roofing a long time as well. 30 plus. So you know. Okay. So you take your experience and you apply that to today's homeowner through a 12-point system, and that system carries on to the installers. That's what we call best practice. So that's really good. And for anyone listening who's thinking about getting a roof, like Kanga is, you know, a, a roofing contractor from Higher Done. We have other roofs, roofing contractors, and you guys know the competitors. You would rather compete against a Higher Done roofer than, uh, you know, chucking a truck. Every day of the week. Right. Because you're all, you know, giving similar great value. Has the roofing business or the technology of roofing evolved over the last couple of years? Oh, without question. I mean, when you go into a home now, we always talk about it. We believe in good, better, best. But once you start getting into the good, or once you get into the better and the best, you're talking about felt. Great. We all know the roofing felt. Right. It's obsolete. Right. Now you go up there, you have a synthetic felt that actually provides protection. You look at the premier level where we're talking about those north gate shingles with the rubberized SBS compound in there where... You know what? You suddenly have a true 35 to 40 year shingle that is going to give you that long life that you're looking for. Because we come across a ton of homeowners who sit there and go, listen, I'm 50 years old. Maybe I want a metal roof. Maybe I want a shingle. But what I really don't want to do is ever deal with this puppy again. It's the last roof you ever buy. Bingo. So can you can you confidently say on radio right now, if a homeowner calls Kanga and they need a new roof, that you can give them the last roof they'll ever buy? Oh, without question. Okay, so when you mentioned SBS, I hear that a lot lately. That's the impact-resistant shingle. Now, I'm not going to go pro or con on climate change. However, I'm going to say that the weather has gotten more severe. And hail damage, I, you know, homeowners get a new roof from hail damage recently, right? The hail comes in at an angle, and the homeowner's like, I got all these, looks like bullet holes in my roof. And it's from the hail. It's because the old fiberglass shingles or the, the asphalt shingles, brittle, cracked. Yep. The SBS is impact resistant, which means when hail hits it, it resists it. Is that a good way to say it? Yes. Uh, SBS, styrene butylene styrene, is a technical name. It's basically rubber. Styrene butylene styrene. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> I'm going to leave that up to you to do that. <laughs> That's funny. But it's rubber, and they yeah. mix the rubber with the asphalt. Therefore, it's softer, more flexible, more pliable. So that's the latest and greatest in the technology evolution. Correct. So here's what I always tell homeowners. It's more important to pick the contractor than it is the shingle. Is that is that fair to say? Absolutely. Because I think if someone has Kanga in their house, and they're like, okay, I think Kanga knows what he's doing. I don't think Kanga's coming to my house and going to put down some inferior shingle, right? Correct. Now, there's some really good brands. Owens Corning, GAF, uh, Certain Teed, and they're all great. However, you take the top of the line 50 year shingle from any of those manufacturers and you don't install it properly. Tell me what happens. It breaks down. I mean, yeah. that's the simple. You, you got know, a leaky roof. Bingo. When I'm out there in somebody's home, my, my, I tell them up front, what's my trick question? Hey, what's the most important day in the life of your roof? And they all go, uh, the day it leaks. No, nah. the day you guys leave the tail lights. <laughs> no, I'm like it's the day it's installed. The exactly. day it's installed because if it's done right, you know what? That even if you go with a mid mid level roof, great, it goes 25, 30 years. If it's done right, you got a really good shot at getting that full life of the roof out of it. Whereas if it's done wrong, we're coming back out in five, ten years when yeah. whoever you had install it wrong. That's where our service crew comes in, which we got an unbelievable group of guys. Right. And we're fixing the pipe flashings or we're fixing the ventilation or the chimney because they didn't do it right. And well, it's a simple funny. fix. It's funny you say that because I have contractors on Hire Done, they're roofers, and they're all great. Okay. Some of them say, Adam, I don't want roof repair leads. And I'm like, you know, let, I want to go through the psychology of that. I'm a homeowner, I got a roof leak through the chimney, it's dripping down. In the back of my mind, deep in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, brother, maybe I need a whole new roof, right? But I really like saying, oh, well, I just want to clean. Let's just fix it right now. Kick the can down the road, fix it. However, a company like Kanga comes out, you do a full thorough inspection. You're sticking your head in the attic. You're walking the roof, right? So you understand the whole dynamics of it. And you're going to advise me, all right, Adam, hey, 
yeah, we can fix this right here. However, the reality is you need a new roof. And you're going to tell me why, and you're going to break it down. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely. So and then I, I don't want to spend, you know, the average roof today, well, ten grand, Give or take, right around. Yep. It just depends on the size of the home. I don't have the money right now. I, don't, I can't stroke a ten, check for ten grand. What do I do? Finance it? Absolutely. And you guys offer financing. We offer financing on repair and replacement, both. Oh, and on repair, too? Yes. We can Sign finance, me up! <laughs> we can finance down as low as $500 on repairs if they need it. Folks, we're talking with Bill Sr. and Bill Jr. of Kangaroo. As you know, they hop to it. If you want to get a hold of them, because this is people like, oh, i got to call these guys. 586-566-3085 or, or 0308? 0308. All right, there's an extra number there. So, or just go to hiredone.com and we'll send Kanga out to get you. But it's kanga-roof.com. Kanga, K-A-N-G-A, right? Um, so that's a nice thing to know that you can finance a repair. Now, for everyone out there, understand this. Roof repairs are really hard to warranty because you're going to fix one leak, and it's like sticking your whole finger in the hole in the dam, right? The water's going to find another place to come in, just like Glenn Higgy used to say, water always wins, right? That's why we have a Grand Canyon. So he, I love that. I, I, there's some things that I borrow from him. He's the greatest. He really was. May he rest in peace. However, now we got a roof leak, and we want to talk about if, if it leaks somewhere else. You guys document everything. That's the other thing I like about your company. When you assess a situation for a homeowner, you write it all out. But anyways, we're going to talk more about how to get a roof that doesn't leak. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I want to ask you about insulation. What about can gutters make your roof, you know, fail? Because I see a lot of people with these gutter covers now. We're going to talk about that as well. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to Hire It Done on 97.1 Ticket. Welcome back, folks. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. We've got Bill... And Bill Jr. in studio from Kangaroo because they hop to it. And uh, if you want to see them, they kind of look like each other. Like you, you guys are related, right? A little <laughs> bit. I'm the good looking one, though. And then Bill uh, Jr. We'll see about that. Yeah, we, we can you want to take a look, folks. Go to Facebook Live right now. You can see the, the fellas from Kangaroo. Um, but, but let me ask you a question. Um, do you guys, do you, have a, do you have a son or kids at all? No, just a dog. If you had it, is it a dog named Bill? No, <laughs> no. My dog's name is Ovi, and uh, he's a good, good one. It's all good. It's all good. So, um, you guys uh, prefer what brand of shingle that you you promote? We do Certainty predominantly. It's what we like. It's what we believe in. Now, are you certified with Certainty? Yes. Okay. So you know, and, and I knew that, but I wanted you to say it because uh, for all the listeners out there, to one of the other requirements of. Uh, Hired done to be participating in hired done is that you have to be certified by one of the top manufacturers. So you guys are certainty. Is it select? What is it? What's the certainty? yes? We're a select single row for the highest yeah. level you can get. Right, and that means not only are the owners of the company trained, but you all, you guys, and we talked about it earlier about your twelve point system. It goes all the way through to your, your installers. Absolutely. Absolutely, and they all have certificates as well. Correct. You know, and we have, I'll, you know, like uh, I'll give you a couple other names of our roofers that are certified because we have an Owens Corning Platinum, uh, which is Taylor Brothers. We've got the GAF Master Elites, which is the Rapid Guys and Kearns Brothers. We got American Standard, uh, they're certainty as well. Um, so we have all, you know, like the best roofers. And I, and I bring them up not to like say, oh, hey, you know, whatever. But you guys, we, like we said earlier, you would rather have a homeowner because like, if you go on 10 appointments with 10 homeowners, how many, Bill Jr., let me ask you this, how many of these homeowners are getting more than one price? Oh, probably eight out of ten, nine out of ten. Correct. Unless it's a referral you did their mother's house. Just Correct. get my roof done, right? You know how that goes. Those are my favorite, though. Listen, we want all those, right? <laughs> we do. But here's the question. Don't you rather compete against someone that understands the system of a roof, the how to give the, the how to install it properly and not say, oh, I'm giving you the 50-year shingle, but I'm buying felt paper? Or I'm only going to give you three feet of ice and water shelf. Really, dude? Yeah, it's uh, when, when I'm out there and I'm meeting with homeowners, if I'm coming across one of the hire it done contractors, it is a level of peace of mind for me to go, okay, these guys at least, when I come across and show them the right system, they don't get shocked by, oh, my God, because we're actually dealing with a comprehensive roofing system where they had pickup truck Chuck come by and was quoting them three grand less. But as you just said, 
you know, it's that entry level builder grade shingle. It's the cheapest felt they can find. You know, it's not a system that they're purchasing. It's just simply a roof. And who knows how well it's done, if it's installed properly, what certifications. When we come across quality other contractors, it's a good sign for us. It means the homeowner's done some research. They know what they want, and they want it done right. Which is exactly what I'm talking about. Bingo. So for the listeners out there who might need a roof one day or know someone who needs a roof, the last thing you want to do is get some, we'll call them the chuck in the truck, who goes to the big box or buys a bunch of shingles. Says, oh, yeah, I can do it. I'm only going to charge you, you know, 300 a square. You can't get a roof today for 300 a square. You just can't. You know, you got to tear it off. And there's the three components of a good roof, the intake, the exhaust, and the insulation, right? Am I right by saying that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So when, you, when I say intake, let's just, let, just to, to, for a roof to last, without getting too scientific, because a lot of people are like, what? Well, you know, they just want the roof that doesn't leak. Explain to the audience what we mean by those three components. So when we come out on our inspection, one of the first things that we always look for, when I'm walking up to your home, the very first thing I'm looking at is I'm looking for what kind of intake system do you have. And what's kind of crazy here in Metro Detroit, when you go through Royal Oak, when you go through Ferndale, when you go through East Point, you got all these bungalows. And it would be probably an underrepresentation to say 9 out of 10 are ventilated improperly. We're looking for the little soft vents. We're looking for continuous venting. We're looking for even edge vent. And I would easily say 9 out of 10 just have nothing, which is scary because it invalidates the warranties then right away. Well, that's the cue right there, okay? And that's what we want to talk about, the blame game and the warranty. Because Bingo. right now, the other thing I noticed, because it used to be a 20-year shingle, 30-year shingle, you know, and then everyone say, oh, prorated, you know, wear and tear. What is all that? You know, I call it fuzzy math, but here's the thing. I now notice that the manufacturers have been able to respond and maybe alter their system so that, all right, I'm going to warranty it for 50 years. You know, I'm going to do a certain T SBS 50 year shingle, but if I'm going to do that, you have to buy all my products, but their products are better. Am I right? Oh yeah. You could buy a lot cheaper things. Uh, and, and just use the one shingle, but you don't want to do that. No, no. And like what we were talking about with that SBS shingle, you get the five-star warranty right from Certainty, which is a full replacement value for the first 20 years, prorated over to the final 30. But to me, when you use Kangaroo, if you let us hop to it for you, what you do is you get our 20-year guarantees on all of it, which really is absent an act of God. You know, if something goes haywire, if that shingle wears out too early and it's year 15, Guess what? You make one phone call, you you text, and really, they're going to be texting or calling me because I'm the one coming out to their home to actually do the consultation. We get our guys out there. They figure it out. They solve the problem. And then if it was a manufacturer's issue, great. We deal with certainty directly. You as the homeowner never even have to get involved. It's all about peace of mind. So another um, uh, characteristic or trait that we look for at Hire It Done for a really good roofer is one that's solution-minded, Okay. And I say that, and people think, oh, you're so cliche. Well, no, it's the truth, right? You come out and you want to solve a problem. Homeowner has a roof leak. They want to know how to fix it. They don't want to hear, you know, be sold something they don't need. Right. So you solve the problem. But what you guys is what I really like, and you're not afraid to admit this because you stand up with everything. Five, six years later, you'll come out and solve a problem. That's correct. We just did that. Right? And you and I met on a project recently, and... Uh, that was that really made my day, to be honest. You have, it was a house. Tell the story about this house really quick. Basically, we did the house about four years, four to five years ago. Uh, subsequently, the owner sold the house. The new homeowner started having some issues on one particular roof section. It only happened in the winter. It was an ice dam situation. It's a construction issue where they could. It's impossible to properly ventilate the roof system, um, and we did. A good job putting the roof on. We didn't do it perfect, meaning a waterproof system. We did a water shedding system, which 99% of the time is going to take care of the problem. Sure. Um, because we didn't do it perfect, and I felt bad for the new homeowner, we ripped off the roof, and we reinstalled a full waterproofing underlayment covering the entire roof, the skylights, the wall flashing, everything. So no matter what happens in the winter, his roof is not going to leak, and then we put a new roof back on for him. And I was there and saw it. And so, and this was at no charge to him. Correct. Which is really cool. So that's part of the being solution-minded. Because, you know, here's the thing. 
you did a roof five years ago, and a homeowner calls up and says, I got leaks coming in. What's this? Every hired done contractor is coming out to look at it, right? The key is, what did they sell the homeowner? And if it's part of the system that they did, my guys are going to fix it. And if, and if it's even a past home contractor who's no longer part of it, and that homeowner calls me, and I have an issue, I'm sending you out. Because most likely, you're going to help me. And we're going to work together as a team, because that's what we do. Absolutely. So after the sale service, we'll call it, is another reason why. Because here's the thing. Now you've taken that homeowner, who, by the way, has a very, very nice house. And he's now going to brag to his friends about, hey, guess what? I get this, this, and this. I had an issue. I called him out. I was thinking, all right, maybe, you know, I, you know, maybe I'm going to probably have to pay. And the fact that you took care of it, I remember talking to him. He was so ecstatic. He's like, yeah, this is great. You know, and of course, sometimes it's good to ask the homeowner, hey, Mr. Homeowner, you appreciate this, right? Yeah. And I, you know, and I do this because this is what we do. Would you mind telling your friends about this? You know, that way you never know. One, two roof jobs come out of that. Oh yeah, he's already told us he's going to give us a positive referral. He can we can put him down as a reference because he couldn't believe how we stepped up and took care of it for him. Well, if you think about it, when I go into a home and we and I know what we do, how we take care of people, when I look a homeowner in the eyes, it's absolute confidence because I know we're going to take care of them. There's no right. question about it. It's amazing. How are you guys busy right now? Very busy. That's great. All the contractors are busy. Yes, they are. Let's put it like this. I didn't get done till 8.30 last night with my last client on a Friday night. And I got a question for you. Because uh, we have to wrap this up, but 10 appointments for roof repairs. How many turn into new roofs? Honestly. One to two. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. Okay. Because yep. I, I, I wasn't sure. I didn't know. Cause we, it, we have a simple philosophy. You make that roof last as long as you can. And when it's wore out and it's tired, you replace it and you put a new one on. So... If there's two or three years left and they can get by with a repair for a couple of years, we'll do the repair for them because we know they're going to call us in two or three years when they need the roof. Uh, that, that makes a big sense. That's, that's awesome. All right, so any deals we can give homeowners? We do. We got a big one that we are kicking off with you this morning. Big Between now and Labor Day? You got it. All you got to do is sign. You just have to sign. It doesn't have to be installed by them, but you got to sign by Labor Day. Commit before Labor Day. Perfect. You got it. And we're going to do $750 off any roof replacement along with half off the gutters and half off the leaf guards that are going up there. You like leaf guards if it's installed properly? Absolutely. So it does make a difference. Makes a huge difference. So there you have it, folks. Bill Jr. and Bill Sr., Bill Burkhart's, plural, pss, uh, of Kanga Roof. Uh, give them a call. It's www.kanga-roof.com, 586-566-0308. Or go to Hire It Done, you get them. You're going to get $750 off a full roof. Or 50% off gutters or 50% off leaf guard. Yep. I love it. There you have it, folks. I'm always squeezing my guys for a good deal. Gentlemen, thanks for coming in. Awesome. Thanks for having oh, us. Thanks, a great company. I'll see you guys Monday, too. You got it. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. When I come back, i got all kinds of great stuff for you. I'm Adam Helfman. This is Hire It Done. Welcome back, folks. This is Hire It Done. This hour brought to you by Bullyard Lumber. Get free fasteners. When you buy a Timber Tech deck package through Bullyard and Hire It Done, uh, in fact, don't buy a deck from any lumber yard until you go to HireItDone.com. That's what I'm going to tell you because we have the best deck guys and the best installers and the best products. So don't get fooled by going to all these lumber yards to advertise and say, "Oh, we're going to do this and do that." They're not. They're not uh, doing any pre-screening. They're just putting. They're just trying to sell more decks. So watch out for that. Shout out to Curtis Beecham. Uh, he's an NFL free agent kicker. His, his dad texted me. I told him I'd shout out to his kid today. So good to them. Anyways, um, it's home improvement time, right? We're busy. Contractors are busy. Finding a good contractor is not easy. So you got to be sure that when you're talking to the contractors, the start date, the finish date, how long the job's taking, because a lot of contractors may tend to take on too much work. So... You know, it's a give and take, but you got to make sure that they're not just going to take your money and then start it whenever. You've got to get that in writing. Get everything included in the project in writing, folks. And then after they give you that, the best thing to do is get everything that's not included in writing as well. Now, on top of all that, you should ask them, how long should the job take? Because... If they're taking on too much work, they may jump on your job on Monday and Tuesday and then not come back for another week, right? You don't want that. You want everyday people working. And a good contractor is going to explain to you the calendar, 
A good contractor is going to tell you even when there's no workers coming. Remember that. Homeowners sit home. They don't know when you're coming. If you just give them a call and say, hey, Mrs. Jones, I'd love to uh, have guys here today, but because of the inspection, we, we have a lull in the action, so it's going to be one or two days with nobody coming. That's important to know that because homeowners get all ex- they get anxiety, they get frustrated, and they don't realize what they need. Um, so that's the whole point. And that's important for you to know that. The other thing is if you have a contractor who's doing a kitchen or a bath or a room addition or a larger project, okay, then I require or recommend that you commit to the contractor a what we call the biweekly walkthrough. Every other week, a meeting specifically on the job site with the contractor. Now think about this, folks. Homeowners, this is important, but contractors who don't do this, you should learn from this. And um, it's important, okay? So here's the deal. The biweekly walkthrough is where every other week you meet the contractor. And what do you do in that walkthrough? It's a 45-minute meeting, okay? And here's what you discuss at that meeting. You discuss what was going on last week in the project, what's going on this week in the project, and what are the plans for next week. Those are the three items, okay? Last week, this week, and next week. And... Any complaints, any concerns, any uh, uh, problems that need to be solved, get attacked at that time, okay? Now, think about it. You have your meeting, you talk about it, and then you don't meet for two weeks. Now, in between the two weeks, you're still going to talk to your contractor. Um, For God's sakes, you're probably living in the house. So there's always communication. But now when you have the second meeting and it's two weeks later... You now can say, hey, Mr. Contractor, last week we discussed that you were doing this, and that, and then you said you'd have this done this week, and you don't have it done, or you have it done, and or he can say even, good news, we're ahead of schedule. So next week is even better, okay? And that's the point. So um, for you, that's going to keep you in the loop. It's going to keep you understanding what's going on, and it's going to lower your anxiety. So I just think that that's something that's worth discussing. And it's important that you, as a homeowner, can communicate with your uh, contractor. And that's part of being successful in remodeling, is having that done. So the whole point is um, having a a hassle-free home improvement. And that's what we do here. We meet with our contractors all the time. And we tell them about this. And they're, you know, they love it. They think it makes sense. And the homeowners, even if you don't use a hired-done contractor, you should always require that and and make sure that happens. So let me give you this, folks. I just read this study about painting your bedroom. These certain colors could help you sleep better. Think about that. That's kind of cool, right? So let's talk about it. Um, Painting your bedroom the right colors always making it look better, right? But how does it make you sleep and feel better? I like that. I want to feel better when I sleep. My walls in my bedroom are white. Um, but I think I might want to try some of these. So let's take a look at it. So these five colors make a beautiful bedroom and a good snooze. This is kind of cool. So if you're thinking of you know doing a do-it-yourself project, one of the DIY things I'm okay with is painting. What I'm not okay with is when homeowners go to hire Dunn and they say, oh, I need a painter to paint my ceilings. Just your ceilings? What's going on here? I call them up. Hey, Mrs. Homeowner, what's up with the, just the ceilings? Oh, well, we painted our walls over the weekend, but the ceilings, we have a vaulted ceiling in the foyer. It's just too high. I don't want to get on a ladder. Oh, okay. I call my contractors. They're like, what? But we still come out. We still take care of you. We'll paint your ceilings. So here's the first color. Blue. Of course, blue, right? Restful and calm. Blue bedrooms are reminiscent of the sky and the sea. They're the best at taking us to dreamland. Yeah, that's right. In the survey, people who had blue bedroom walls were more likely to wake up happy. Okay, now you're talking. Looks like blue is the one for me. But what color blue, right? Here's a pro tip. Go all in. You don't have to use baby blue. Dark blue walls can make you feel like you're sleeping in the night sky. Use bright accents like chartreuse and turquoise. Okay. I could do blue. Robin's nest. Robin's eggs or something like that. You know, I'll go to the Crayola crayon book and see what kind of blue they have. Here's another color. Yellow. Warm yellow walls were also conducive to happiness and good rest. They radiate joy. That's kind of cool. Um, don't go too bright with yellow, like banana yellow, right? Too much yellow moves from vibe to blissful and nuclear. And unless you're a toddler, don't use any primary colors in the bedroom. Crisp black, white, and gray accessories are better balanced. Eh, I'm not a fan of that. I, here's my favorite color, folks, 
Although blue sounds tempting. Here's my favorite color, green. I love green. Green is the way to go, okay? It reminds me of nature. It'll elevate your mood, right? Makes me feel like a vegan. Anything green. They're always telling you the doctors, green, more vegetables, more of this, more of that. Um, people sleeping in green bedrooms awoke feeling positive and upbeat. How funny is that? I'm going to paint my walls green and we're going to do a sleep test. I'll jump out of bed. Oh, I'm feeling great. Anyways, what about the other colors? Silver? Oh, for sure. Cool metallic tones in silver can remind us of the moonlight. Makes sense. Here's another one. Orange. Yes, you'll, be supply you'll sleep surprisingly well in an orange bedroom. But the question is, is bedtime also snack time? Orange bedrooms make you hungry. Oh, brother. Yeah, I can't do orange. I'll be eating too much bacon. Now, let's go through the really quick worst bedroom colors. Purple, right? Despite the fact that ultraviolet is Pantone's 2018 color of the year, dark purple does not belong on a people's bedroom. Right, I agree. I don't want an eggplant color on my walls. Red, for sure. Although, here's what this says. Oh, I'm loving it. You might think of a red bedroom as romantic, but red is too exciting a color to encourage good sleep. Yeah, my heart rate going up. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Um, in the study, it didn't even encourage good sex. Yeah, red's out, folks. Can't have any of that. And then they got brown and gray. Gray is uh, a great color as well. So I like gray. Gray's hot for kitchens, especially uh, for the uh, islands and stuff. But, hey. It's all up to you. Remember, it's your house. It's your, your, uh, yeah, it is usually dark. I just read this on the ticket text. Isn't it usually dark when you're sleeping? I don't get the color thing, Bob and Troy. You know what, Bob? That's a really good point. High fives to Bob today. Anyways, um, listen, color's all your own personal taste. For, for me, I might try green very soon. So, folks, listen, if you need a contractor, you want a hassle free home improvement, just visit hireatdone.com. My email's askadam or adam at hireatdone.com. We'd love to hear from you if you have any custom, anything. Anyways, we'll see you next week, folks. I'm Adam Healthman, and you're listening to Hire It Done. <laughs> 97 won't take it.